Welcome back to a lecture series on uh, hydrogeology. So, in this lecture, what now we are going to discuss about uh, the interpretation, uh, water quality interpretation. So, after the analysis of the water sample, after the analysis of water sample, the water sample has to be uh, interpreted uh, for its and its uses uh, for domestic agriculture or industry. Uh, all the all the I mean uh, values are written after the interpretation. You will be getting only the numbers, numerical numbers. The numerical numbers for 100 samples uh, in a table could not be able to interpret whether which sample is uh, good for agriculture, which sample is not uh, good in terms of quality. Uh, hence, many graphical interpretation was derived by many scientists who were working on uh, the groundwater chemistry. One among the plot uh, graphical interpretation is Wilcox plot. And now we will discuss about the Wilcox plot interpretation uh, and its suitability of groundwater. And Wilcox plot can be used quickly to determine the variability of water for the irrigation purpose. So, this plot is exclusively used for the purpose of assessing whether the water is good for agriculture or uh, this cannot be used for the agriculture. Uh, Bill Cox has assigned the so soluble sodium percent SSP, SSP in terms of EPM equivalent parts per million of the co um, common cations. So, he has assigned uh, SSP percentage, SSP uh, sodium uh, soluble, sol um, soluble sodium percentage by taking the values of EPM of uh, sodium plus potassium into 100 over calcium plus magnesium plus sodium plus uh, potassium. So, this uh, and the I mean uh, the values of sodium and potassium in X water sample is taken and it is multiplied by 100. So, you will be getting the higher concentration of sodium and potassium and similarly you will have to take with the normal without multiplying calcium, magnesium, sodium and potassium major cations you will have to take and once if you take uh, then uh, you have to derive the SSP of the sample 1. After deriving the SSP of sample 1, the sample has to be plotted. This is the Bill Cox graphical interpretation. He has classified the, I mean by taking this value, um, he has classified the water into zones as excellent. The water can be used um, straight away for the purpose of irrigation or the agriculture. It is good and sometimes it is not unsuitable. So, he has calculated SSP in terms of EPM value. And then this is being taken to the uh, graph. In the this is logarithmic plot. In, the, in this logarithmic plot, uh, E C is taken in x axis. E C normally represented mu s uh, by per centimeter. So this is being tested normally at 25 degree uh, uh, cent uh, 25 degree centigrade. And this is uh, this value normally taken in the field as well as in the lab to cross check whether. It is there sometimes it will be of because of the temperature dependency both pH and EC there is a slight variations will be noticed and um, the sodium percent the SSP uh, sodium percent is taken on the y axis. So, this is uh, the value starting from 10 and then the maximum is 100 if the sodium percentage increases and uh, here uh, the concentration of electrical conductivity is increases from 0 to 4000. The value at exactly 749, the values at exactly near 2000 and 33000 is taken as a margin to construct a line. The, uh, construct a line for classifying the samples into various zones. The first zone between 0 and 749 is the zone of excellent, is the zone of excellent to good. If, if your sample falls here, you can immediately suggest the water is good for the purpose of irrigation or the agriculture. If the SSP value falls in the other category, of course, we will have to think twice or we have to take again the samples uh, and then analyze and then find it out why if the sodium soluble percentage is more. If sodium is more automatically as we know that uh, the crop cannot grow fast because this will uh, kill uh, the plant growth. So, normally sodium higher percentage we will not suggest for any irrigation purpose. And the second zone is good to permissible if it is up to 50 percent to 60 percent of sodium. 
and EC between 749 to 2000. So this is good to permissible, excellent to good up to 60. Then you see even uh, sometimes what will happen if it is very nearer, uh, I mean EC is very less sodium is high, maybe you can think of to use this water for the purpose of agriculture. And uh, between 2000 uh, 3000, you can think many times why your crop is not growing. Even though if you have water, why water is not good for ag agriculture, you have to think and then suggest. Unsuitable, don't suggest. And permissible to doubtful. Here again, uh, we have to again do test and find it what is the reason. Sometimes in case you suppose if you are proposing a, a method to arrest or uh, the enrichment of sodium dilution in a rock, maybe you will be able to suggest uh, what a deeper depth you take water and then maybe there over um, sodium is less. Um, uh, the surface aquifer, maybe the first fracture zone water is uh, uh, higher in uh, what is that sodium content, maybe it is because of geogenic source. Like this, we will have to interpret the cause behind the enrichment of sodium, soluble sodium percent. And then in turn, after plotting in this diagram, we will have to suggest. And uh, he has classified uh, the quality of classification. So this is very, very important. Uh, the percentage of sodium is bit, um, yeah, 20 percent. Less than 20 percent is uh, good. Excellent. 20 to 40 percent is good. 40 to 60 percent is permissible and 60 to 80 percent that's what this values are taken from the figure the above 80 percent is unsuitable and similarly for the EC value specific conductance uh, uh, micro Siemens per centimeter mu s per centimeter so this uh, is less than 250 250 750 750 I mean 2000 2000 3000 more than two so the ca category is excellent less than 2000 uh, if it is more than 2000, 3000 mu, mu s per centimeter is highly unsuitable and uh, boron uh, milligram of course this leads you to assess uh, boron per uh, liter milligram per liter sensitive crop semi sensitive crop and tolerant crop if the boron concentration uh, is less than 0.33 is good and in semi uh, um, sensitive crop it may go up to from 33 to 0.67 and then uh, tolerant crop some of the crops which is tolerant to the uh, so boron, maybe you can suggest up to maximum one. If it exceeds between 3367, so that is second one, it is good and permissible up to one and 1.25 doubtful and more than 1.25 is um, unsuitable for sensitive crop. The crop may be uh, categorized by the agriculture into various zones like sensitive, semi-sensitive and uh, the corresponding value for semi-sensitive is given here 0 0.67 to 1.33 is good, 1.33 to 2 is permissible and 2 to 2.50 is doubtful and more than 2.50 is unsuitable. Similarly for the tolerant crop, if it is uh, less than 1, 1 to 2 is good, 2 to 3 is permissible and uh, 3 to 3.75 is doubtful and more than 3.75 is uh, unsuitable with respect to boron concentration and it is represented milligram per liter. So this is how uh, uh, the Wilcox diagram has been used for categorizing or classifying the water into its uses for the irrigation purposes. So with this the discussion is come to an end. Thank you very much.